We're looking at the Ardabal carpet dating back to around 1539 and 1540, located in the Islamic Art Gallery in the Victoria and Albert Museum in London, while its twin is in the L.A. County Museum of Art. This carpet was commissioned by Maqsud of Kishan, which we take note of from the four-line inscription placed at one end. It reads, Except for thy threshold, there is no refuge for me in all the world. Except for this door, there is no resting place for my head. The work of the slave of the portal, signed by Maqsud Kishani himself. And the carpet actually takes its name from the town of Ardabal in northwest Iran. It was the home of the shrine of the Sufi saint Safi Afdin Ardabili. Carpets as a whole are one of the most fundamental pieces of Islamic art. Generally, they are portable and made of silk and wool. They were traded and sold across the Islamic lands and parts of Europe. The ones from Iran specifically were valued most. They served as floor decorations in mosques, shrines, and homes. But they could also be hung on walls to insulate the houses. The size of this carpet measures 10.5 meters by 5.3. Filled with rich geometric patterns, vegetative scrolls, floral flourishes so typical of Islamic art. At the center is a golden medallion that dominates most of the carpet and is surrounded by a ring of multicolored detailed ovals. A series of cartouches also can be found along the frame. Here we see two lamps that hang at either side of the center medallion. They are d of different sizes, and art historians believe that this was done to create a perspective effect, meaning both lamps appear to be the same size when one sits next to the smaller lamp. It could have been an attempt to mimic lamps in mosques and shrines. When viewers see the carpet from above and below, the lamps may create unity within the shrine. The entirety of the carpet is made of wool rather than silk because it holds dye better. The dyes used to color the carpet are natural and include pomegranate rind and indigo, and up to ten weavers could have worked on the carpet at any given time. The intricate details of the entire carpet really stand out to the viewer and make this piece essential in Islamic art.